For decades, skyscrapers have been considered the symbol of a modern, thriving society as well as building innovation. The first modern skyscraper was built in Chicago in 1885, standing at 42 meters tall. Today, it would be dwarfed by super tall structures like the 828 meter high Burj Khalifa, which is almost 20 times higher. But even the Burj Khalifa is on its way to being dwarfed by some impressive new projects being built, such as the Jeddah Tower. From a building with the largest observatory in Europe to one that's the centerpiece of a new city in Africa, let us take you on a quick tour of the latest skyscrapers taking over city skylines. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which of these skyscrapers you enjoyed the most. There are many ambitious plans for the next tallest buildings, but some of them might never see the light of day. In this video, we will only show you those that are currently under construction or have been given the definitive green light. Since the 19th century, buildings have been rising higher and higher into the sky with each passing decade. Globally, it's interesting to know that these super tall buildings have not been received with excitement in certain parts of the world. Whereas North America led the way with skyscrapers in Chicago and New York, Europe was keener to preserve its historical buildings. But the steady economic progress and pressures of urbanization have seen skyscrapers become more common in European cities. Meanwhile, Asia has become the true champion of the skyscraper. Today, over two-thirds of the world's tallest buildings are found in Asia. The whole of the 20th century saw over a thousand towers of 150 meters or above constructed globally. But in the 21st century, it took just eight years for this figure to double. The momentum to build these magnificent, super tall structures hasn't slowed down. So here's a quick tour of the tallest buildings being built right now, continent by continent. In Asia, the famous Jeddah Tower, which was going to eclipse the Burj Khalifa to become the tallest skyscraper in the world, has been on hold since 2018. As its definition and future as a skyscraper is unclear, there's a more definite challenger that we will focus on in this video. The challenger is the Merdeka PNB118, a beautifully designed tower that is located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Rising to the height of 644 meters, it is the tallest skyscraper under construction globally. Merdeka, which means independence, is a fitting name for this building, which towers freely above the city skyline. It will have 118 floors housing retail stores, office space, hotel rooms, and restaurants. The 114th to 117th floors will have one of the world's highest observation decks, the Merdeka PNB-118 will be topped with a spire about 150 meters long. Construction on the tower started in 2014 and is estimated to cost a whopping $1.5 billion. Once the tower is completed by 2021 as expected, it will become the fourth tallest building in the world. This project is a strong statement of Malaysia's aspirations. In North America, the latest tall building under construction is the Central Park Tower. Located in New York's Billionaire's Row, it rises to an impressive 472 meters tall. It's the second tallest building in North America, only surpassed by the One World Trade Center. However, it holds the record of being the tallest residential building in the world. Construction started in 2014, and although it reached its full height in 2019, further construction was stopped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It contains 179 condominiums starting on the 32nd floor with luxurious finishing, such as white oak floors. Other amenities include a penthouse, lounge, theater, conference room, play area, indoor and outdoor pools, spa, gym, basketball court, and a private club. The construction cost $3 billion. It's a massive amount to spend on a project, but the investment allows you to access a variety of luxuries under one roof as you live life at the top. Heading to South America, we find ourselves in the sunny beach resort city of Balneario Camboriú. 
Here, the tallest twin towers in Brazil are nearing their completion. The Yacht House Residences Club complex is iconic, rising up to 280 meters. It was realized by the glamorous design company Pininfarina from Italy, which also designs high-end luxury cars like Ferraris. So you can bet the building is stylish, offering luxury residential apartments with the high-end consumer in mind. Construction started in 2014 and is estimated to be completed in 2020. The Yacht Club Residences is only the second tallest building in South America, behind the Gran Torre Santiago in Chile. If you are in Europe looking for the tallest skyscrapers, look no further than Russia. It is currently putting up the second tallest building on the continent, the One Tower. The record of the tallest building belongs to Russia's Lakta Center in St. Petersburg. Construction of the One Tower started in 2019, and by the time it's completed in 2024, it will rise to a height of 405 meters. However, the One Tower is breaking a few records of its own. It will be the tallest residential building in Europe and second in the world behind the Central Park Tower in New York. It will also have Europe's highest observation deck on the 100th floor and its apartments will be equipped with smart home technology. Being on the cutting edge isn't cheap, with the construction costing an estimated $690 million. Let's take a closer look at Africa. In fact, Africa was once the title holder for the tallest structure in the world. The Cheops Pyramid, with a height of 147 meters, was the tallest structure for over 3,800 years and truly a wonder of the world. Today, the iconic tower is coming up in Egypt. It promises to be the tallest building on the continent, rising to a lofty height of 385 meters when completed. Construction started in 2018, with the foundations laid within 80 hours of non-stop work. It's set to be completed in 2022 and will be the centerpiece of Egypt's new administrative capital that is located 45 kilometers east of the capital city, Cairo. The three-phase project aims to transform a 700 square kilometer area of desert into a modern hub for government buildings, foreign embassies, and major companies, which will ease the pressure on Cairo. To understand how significant this is, Johannesburg's Carlton Center, which is 223 meters tall, has been the tallest building in Africa since 1973. Finally, Australia has just completed its newest skyscraper, named the Australia 108. It is officially the tallest residential tower in the Southern Hemisphere from floor to roof, spanning a massive 319 meters tall. Located in Melbourne, construction started in 2015 and has cost over 640 million US dollars. Other than the exclusive luxury apartments on sale, it offers infinity pools, lounge areas, dining rooms, and gyms. The higher you go, the more you enjoy the 360-degree panoramic views of Melbourne. Its innovative design allows it to withstand strong gale force winds from the nearby bay, so you don't have to worry about missing your next sunrise. However, there has been a recent development. The Victorian government has just approved plans for Australia's next tallest building to be built in Melbourne's South Bank precinct. The twisting green spine building will reach 356 meters tall, and it will be 30 meters taller than the legendary Q1 building, which holds the record, and 35 meters taller than the newly built Australia 108 tower. The green spine will be a development containing luxury residential units, high-tech commercial offices, a five-star hotel, and public green spaces in a strategic location of Melbourne. It will be a fascinating structure once it takes shape. With all these new arrivals and more expected in the future, you can say that we are truly in the age of skyscrapers. Every continent is pushing its boundaries in skyscraper construction right now. If this trend keeps going, we can expect more and even taller buildings in the near future. In fact, there are quite a few megatall skyscrapers above 1,000 meters being proposed right now. Once these structures get approval and sufficient funding, they will become the next tallest buildings of the world and the first to break the incredible one kilometer milestone. We'll keep you up to date if one of these mega tall skyscrapers is going to be built.
What do you think about the new skyscrapers shown in this video? Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.